would go to sick call and was treated as a drug seeker and two Tylenol and back to duty. Uh, my buddies took care of me in the motor pool with uh, illegal drugs, so I started self-treating. Um, I was misdiagnosed and undiagnosed for so many years, began doing whatever you have to do to get rid of the spike in your head. Um, uh, about 2001, 2002, at the inception of the internet, which I think has helped all of us very much, um, I got uh, on a message board and was searching for anything because nothing worked. And uh, I ran into cluster busters and began using alternatives to treat uh, my uh, drug resistant uh, headache. So, uh, upon that, John, there are sick people in the audience who may not know what cluster headache is. Can you just explain for folks who don't what, what an attack of cluster headache is? A, a cluster headache is not a headache, it is an attack. Uh, you, uh, you get asphagia, you can't talk, you can't speak, you beat your head on the ground. It's like a spike is inside your head and somebody's giving it this. And on top of the pressure that you migraine people would relate to as pressure and pounding, there's that nail and, and, and it's, it's called a suicide headache. And so this, these pain, this, this stuff is extreme. I wouldn't have taken such extreme measures to alleviate it if it wasn't so extreme. Um, so what I got involved with was Dr. Halpern and Cluster Busters and Dr. Andrew Sewell. Uh, and we did a case study on psilocybin treating cluster attacks. And that worked out very well for us. Uh, the, the, the psilocybin does work. Um, it has changed my life. It gave my life back to me. I was, when I called Bob Old, I was ready to commit suicide. And, uh, and uh, he saved my life. And so, that being said, um, I became an advocate after that. Um, 20 years of not hearing, of hearing, uh, we don't know. Well, how's this work? Well, we don't know. Well, we're going to try this. Well, how's that work? Well, we don't know. Well, I've had enough. Uh, we're going to the headache on the hill. That you guys, they don't know what we go through. We have to go there and tell them and show them, and and it works. Well, we increase DOD funding directly because of AHDA and their efforts. And so, I would encourage everyone to not be silent anymore. We hide. We, we all hide. Let's quit hiding. Let's get out there and show them what we're made out of. Uh, now, I'm sure that somebody else wants to say a few words. I would. 